good morning welcome to another video a little bit different this time i'm in the garage i'm in the workshop had a little bit of an arrival this week so a few weeks ago i had a an email conversation with an organization called we day deals chinese manufactured stuff so had had a couple of emails with them and what they've done they've sent me some stuff so I'm not being paid by them, I'm not getting anything for it, but I have got the stuff free. It won't alter what I'm gonna say about them, whether they're good or whether they're bad. But over the coming weeks, I'll give a more full review of this stuff. But in the meantime, here's what I've got. So first up, we've got a Wahoo mount. So this is quite nifty. It goes on the stem, so the stem bolt will go through there. This this side of it, the Wahoo mat is adjustable by the angle. So I'm gonna pop that on and it will be quite good. And my handlebars are quite cluttered. Um, I don't know how I'll get on with the Wahoo mounted, you know, back close to the stem. It involves looking down a little bit more. But I'm gonna give that a go, see how it see how it fares. The next one, quite excited with this one. Some of you may remember if you've been watching my channel for a while, I did a discussion about bells so here is a new bell it's actually quite stylish it's got a decent aluminium mount CNC aluminium and it is matte black so it matches the bike quite a nice but listen to this so I love the bell I've got but it is a little bit awkward to actually operate with gloves on this is going to be a lot better so I think that is going to be going on the bike. They've also sent me a light. So this is a lead bike rear light. It's quite bright, flash mode. Yeah, actually it's quite clever. It's got a, uh, a rear seat post guide that's actually got a Wahoo type Garmin type mount in it. So it fits by just going into that, rotating around. There you go. So that could be quite nice. Mounted on the post with a couple of uh, relevant rubber straps. Comes with the charging lead. So um, yeah, give that a go. A while ago, I needed to bleed my gravel bike hydraulic brakes and I didn't have the relevant kit. So. I'm not going to open this one because I ended up buying exactly the same thing. So I'm actually going to give this away in a future video. But basically it contains all of the adapters that you need to do your um, brake bleeding on mountain bikes and Shimano uh, equipped road bikes and pretty much everything inside there. I know because I've got one, there are such a lot of adapters. You've got pretty much everything that you need in there. Then we've got a pair of gloves. So I don't think they're necessarily a full on winter glove, but they're quite, they're quite well padded. They look quite nice. Little clip, clips them together. Quite nice, they've got some silicon on the palms. Tips just there. These are a large set. I could probably have done with a medium actually. These are a little bit big, but what most impresses me is just here, We've got a zip. So in here is a bit of a pocket. You could keep your emergency tanner in there when you're out. Now we've got plastic notes, wouldn't matter if it got wet. That's a handy place to keep some money. I like them. So these are all courtesy of We Day Deals. I shall add a link below and I'll also put their part numbers um, product code numbers of all of these items but I'll do a more in-depth review over the next few weeks. So thank you We Day Deals, quite good of you to send me um, all of that stuff. So that's my little stash from the week. Might have a little play, might pop that on now actually because I do quite like that. And I was actually going to go out for a ride this morning, but I've just come out into the garage to bring this stuff out and um, and get my bike ready. And guess what? I've got a puncher in the front, tyres flat. So I'm going to fix that now. 
But that is as flat as the proverbial pancake. So I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, should have gone tubeless, should have gone tubeless. Mm, still not convinced. I'm gonna fix it, but I'm gonna fix it with a patch, old school. So, puncture is fixed. It's not very nice outside, it's windy. It's got cold wind, but I'm gonna go out for a bit. I've got a bit of bad news though, that bell, which was really good, really loud, it's the wrong, wrong diameter for my handlebars, so it won't fit. It's a bit annoying, isn't it? But, that might have to be a giveaway then. My loss might be your game. So, there's the light. It stayed on, done five miles, it's still there, still flashing, unlike the last one. Now it stopped. <laughs> oh, joy. I think it's on its, uh, oh yeah, there you go, look. It's on its smart mode. This is one of these smart lamps. So it senses movement. It comes on when they're moving, how about that? very cold wind I don't think I'm going to be going very far this afternoon I'm hoping uh, tomorrow Sunday we're going out for a ride with Dan he's got some new wheels I hope we don't have to play the hunt Dan game again No chance to get out on the bike this week. Been busy and in the daytime all week, and uh, it's, it's getting lighter. Oh, didn't really mean to do that. Ooh. Definitely getting a bit lighter at night, so it won't be long before it'll be uh, light at tea time. That'd be good, won't it? But this week it's been so cold and rubbish in the evenings and I just have quite a few things to do so not been out so I have zero miles this week it's no good when your target's 100 is it so I'm just on a road in Grantham called Castlegate just here is Grantham House that's a National Trust property and this building just here where Isaac Newton was educated. You just see up there. So you can see there, that's the, the what is now the old library of the King's School. And um, back in Isaac Newton's time, that was the whole school. And uh, pretty much, I believe. Funnily enough, I went to the King's School too. And you might find this hard to believe, but I once got detention several days after school for carving my name in the school desk. And they might find it hard to believe. But strangely enough, Isaac Newton carved his name in the stone window ledge in that old library there. And now they've built a viewing platform to go up to it and covered it in glass to protect it. They didn't do that with the desk, but I agree. Such is life. So just across from the King School is St. Wolfram's Church, just here. And that is a pretty big spire. If my history memory serves me correct, it's the sixth highest in England. 
and it has at the top of it a library a chained library which I believe again if my history trips me if my history memory is correct where's Roy when you need him here no I think it was the first chained library I've been up there years and years ago and as a teenager it's very high very old books all chained together oh, yeah so I'm gonna head home now and I'm gonna do the draw for the 600 subscriber giveaway so if you saw the last video you'll know clicked over 600 subscribers if you left a comment and got the answer to the question right you're in the running for some coffee so I'm going to use the old trusty YouTube random comment picker to pick a uh, pick a winner and then I've also got this rock boss top tube bag and that is going to be given away to somebody who very kindly has bought me a cup of coffee in the last couple of weeks you can see a link below if you want to buy me a cup of coffee it's always welcome so good luck if you've bought me a coffee good luck if you've left a comment and got the answer correct and i shall join you back at home for the draw excitement bills So, here we are, home, got out that wind, which I'm pretty glad about. So, I'm gonna do this random picker now, generator. So I'm gonna give away two bags of this special coffee. Two bags of this. You can choose between a ground for filter, cafetiere, or coffee beans. Just let me know which is your preference. If you win, drop me an email. But now, let's go to the draw. So, We've got the comments loaded. Let's click start and see who's going to be the first winner. The first winner of some coffee is Ginger Lou. How about that? Oh, she won't like it. Okay, and the second winner is. So look who's going to be the second winner. Second winner is David Timmins. So the two of you guys are the winners. Drop me an email with your names and addresses and I shall get some coffee out to you pronto. I'm gonna do the draw now for the Rock Gross Top Tube Bag. So this is going to somebody that has very kindly bought me a cup of coffee in the last couple of weeks. But this one, unfortunately, I can't use the random comment generator on this one, so we're going old school with pieces of paper. I need something actually. I didn't think, I didn't think this through. I need something to pick them out of, don't I? Oh. Hello. That Mark Frost, he's got a hat of happiness. I've got a helmet of happiness. So, I shall drop all these into there. So, give them a shake, and we shall drop, sorry, we shall pick one out. So, we're at them look. So, the winner of the top tube bag is Michael Fulcher. So Michael, congratulations. If you want to drop me an email, um, I'll get the bag out to you. There you go, 600, uh, 600 subs winner, picked and chosen. Congratulations if you've won the coffee. Uh, congratulations if, you, uh, if you've won the, the top tube bag. Normal service will be resumed on the next video. I'll be back out on the bike. Hopefully, at least. <laughs> Thanks again for helping me get to over 600 subscribers. Really appreciate all the support and all the comments on the videos. Um, and I'm glad you're enjoying them. So I'll see you again back out on the bike in a few days time. Stay safe. Bye.